Like most athletes, I arrived on campus uh, thinking I was going to be big time. Had a, had a lot of plans. Um, I grew up as a believer, but was never really challenged in any sort of way or even uh, didn't even have a mentor. I've never really had anyone there to challenge me and I've really just been walking it kind of by myself and with a little bit of encouragement from a few friends. Throughout college I've um, been trying to look for role models um, that I could look up to and to um, keep my faith you know in line and keep everything rolling and going good. As I got to on the campus um, life's very very different especially for a student athlete kind of get to a point where it's a fork in the road. And, uh, you can either go one way or you can go the other way. I'm kind of like the Bible in Matthew where it says, um, wide is the road that leads to destruction, and narrow is the road that leads to life, and only few find it. Well, I stood at that fork in the road for quite a while, and um, it wasn't until a guy by the name of Keith Townsend came in and uh, pushed me uh, to that narrow road. You know, I'm standing at the fork in the road, and. Uh, Man, God's a funny God. He uh, <laughs> he works in funny ways, and uh, right when I needed him, he he, uh, he he brought Keith into my life. But it wasn't in a wasn't in the way that you would think. Not on the street or in a, his house, but uh, we were standing in the bathroom doing what you do in the bathroom. And uh, this guy to my right started talking <laughs> a lot, and I kind of shied away from him a little bit. But uh, he began to ask me and kind of probe me a little bit and say, wow, you're, you're a basketball player, you got this core scholarship, you really got it going on, man. And I said, yeah, I believe I've been very blessed. And he quickly turned his head. And be careful when you use the word blessed because it's when they know you're a Christian. And uh, keep, keep, keep latched on to that. And uh, we began talking. I think we hung out the rest of the day. Probably was even over at his house by the end of the week. And um, man, we've been best friends ever since. And like I said, he. Uh, He's poured into my life um, at the exact time that I needed it made me a better man, uh, a better Christian man, a man of faith, a man chasing God's own heart. And, uh, I'm so thankful for that. This past year, Stacey and Keith had a vision of um, putting together a leadership team, which has been really great to raise up leaders and to sow into their lives so that they can go and impact in their events and their teams and uh, I've been able to be a part of that as well, meeting at their house. After our normal FCA meeting, we will, would go over to Stacy Key's house. Stacy is a great cook. <laughs> and um, I mean, we'd just start off a discussion and we would end up till about four o'clock in the morning and just stayed so incredibly late, just challenge, challenging each other on you know, our, you know, our faiths or what we believed in and the differences or just everything. And, um, he has impacted me so much, and I just, I'm so grateful that he's been here at Wichita State, and I know that he can impact so many more people if we just get the opportunity to. Like, we'll be talking, and I'll say, okay, I'm gonna go, and then two hours later, I'm still there talking, and we get on, um, you know, some real issues and really um, dig down deep, and so our conversations, um, we really grow a lot through them. Met Keith through an accountability group that uh, he was in with a couple of my close friends. I uh, joined the accountability group, felt a little uncomfortable, didn't really know uh, everyone and Keith stepped up as the leader of the group and just right away made me feel comfortable and, and, and just made me feel comfortable with what I can share with my friends and, and how much easier it is with, with a group like that to uh, just know that you're not walking, walking the Christian walk by yourself. My whole identity was wrapped up in basketball and everything that was unimportant and it just uh, that's not where God needed me. And the Keith kind of opened that door for me, opened, opened my heart up to God. Their whole entire family is involved with this ministry and it's so great as a coach to see them impact the athletes that I work with on a, a daily basis and to provide a home for those athletes to come for a warm meal or for them just to have somebody that's outside of the athletic department that is willing to be there for them and challenge them and love them and serve them and um, so I just I can't thank them enough for all they do for our athletic department and the athletes here. Key stepped right in and and uh, challenged me and challenged me to to disciple the other people and, and and challenged me to get one started within the baseball team. Uh, we we started doing that and uh, we got a Bible study going within the baseball team. So uh, that all basically started from Keith Townsend and and uh, the impact that that he just challenged me to, to reach out and, and not just live within myself, but to pour out into other people's lives as well. 
he got into my life, showed me what a, a good father figure looks like, he showed me what a good man looks like, and that's something I so desperately needed. Um, and God became so real to me. It was no longer a mental exercise, but I started uh, getting into the Word and loving every minute of it. And just to look around and see the lives that have been touched by Keith and by Stacy and by um, the Shocker Athletic Ministry here. Uh, no championship banners, no uh, titles, no anything could uh, compare to um, the eternal work that's gone on here at Wichita State in these past four years that I've been here. It's been really neat to see people kind of step out of their comfort zone and step up at meetings and get different roles or lead and set up meetings and um, it's, it's a really good thing for those athletes and I think that they're pouring into other athletes' lives. What's going on here is work that matters. Um, and it's not material work, it's, 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 it's something that's um, so important in the lives of athletes around here. It's, it's God and um, any little bit helps uh, because, like I said, it, it's when people heart begin to change, real impact ma is made. And um, Keith and Stacy have a, a real, um, a real talent, a real ability, a real blessing from God to um, get inside people's hearts and, and change lives. And uh, there's no greater feeling than that. Um, and I, 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 I'm one of those changed lives. Mm -hmm.